Hey, what's going on, Internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We're continuing our third installment on our animated typography series, which we've been posting for the last two weeks. So this is week number three. You've seen the demo what we're creating. Let's go ahead and get started. And before we begin, if you're looking to save time or if you're looking for some inspiration, go ahead and check our links in the video description. They'll take you to these amazing typography templates where you can look at other people's work and see what you can do for your own. Or if you're in a time crunch, these templates will help you save the time that you need. The objective of this tutorial is to have you think creatively with your title. So what we're doing here is we're going to open up our title and put a subtitle within our main title. So just being a little bit creative with it. And also we're going to do some individual character animation. So this is going to be great. So first things first, with your main title, you're going to want this to be rather large. So I'm using the typeface Gotham and bold. And I essentially have this stretched out across the entire composition like this. And from here, what I want to do is I want to animate the letters in individually. So what we can do is open up our text layer and click on the word animate and we can set on say rotation instead of doing the rotation in 2d space i actually want to do this in 3d space so what we can do is click on the tab animate and click on enable per character 3d now we get some extra values with our rotation down here and what we can do is go to the y rotation and now we have this in 3d space so all we have to do is set this to 90 degrees the y rotation and we'll come to the range selector we'll add a keyframe for start percentage and we'll move forward in time for maybe about a second or so. And we'll set the start percentage to 100%. And this is what we have. And you're probably thinking, okay, well, we, we can still see the titles there. Okay, no problem. So click on the tab Add, go to Property, and add Opacity. And set the opacity to 0%. Now, you have each letter coming in at a time. And let's make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Of course, a ton of other properties that you can use. You don't just have to use what I'm using. So you, I suggest that you go ahead and experiment with what you want to do and also learn how to use some of these properties as they're really cool to work with. All right, now that we have our built-in After Effects tile in here, I want to go to Effect Generate Gradient Ramp. And this allows us to add a little bit of color to our text here. So I'm just going to bring in these two points a little bit to have further control over uh, or accurate control over the color effect and I can select not like a color in here and you know, come down over here select maybe a blue color this has a little bit of creative color to our text okay so now we're ready to animate this and open it up so what we want to do when we're done here is go to layer pre-compose and call it uh, main title click OK and essentially what I want to do is have a line come in here cut up the text so it's motivated and then open up. So, so what we're going to do is just grab the rectangle tool and we can just draw out a nice, you know, rectangle like this. And mine's already set to a stroke, so I'll set that to none. Go to fill and set this to solid color. And we actually might make this a little bit bigger, but we'll see in a second. So we can open up the shape layer, go to rectangle path, break the change for size, and we can increase the size if we need to. And we can type out our subtitle. So since this is a white background, I'll make sure our text is uh, black. Make it a little bit smaller and this is where the contrast needs to come into play so we can type in and if you need to make it a little bit longer we can increase the track in but we'll come back to fine tuning this title a little bit later so we want to put it in here and here is our title and our uh rectangle so we'll go ahead and hide these layers for now since it's out of the way but let's go ahead and break this up now so what we can do is grab the rectangle tool and we'll come halfway through our composition and we'll draw a mask like this we'll duplicate our main title by going up to edit duplicate you set the bottom layer to subtract or it doesn't really matter. And now you have your two separate layers here like the so, and that's cool. So now what we can do with these is hit P on keyboard for position. So we have our animation and then right at this point, we want to add a keyframe for position, move forward in time. So maybe we'll have this animation going through like the three seconds, move our bottom title down and our top title up. And we'll turn back on our shape layer. And we want these to be generally touching the white solid and that's pretty much touching that and we might need to fine tune our uh, shape here to match this up with our title specifically so we can open up for this we go to our rectangle path and we could go to the size break the change for size we can increase the x size so all now what we have to do is animate the shape layer so right at this point this is exactly where i want my shape layer to be at so we'll add a keyframe for size we'll move forward to the first keyframe here and we'll set the size down, the Y size down to one. So now we just have a straight line. We can also do two if we want. I'll probably keep it uh, actually let's do three. So we'll do a Y size of three. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll hit P on keyboard for position for our shape layer, add a keyframe for it. 
We'll move back in time by a little bit and we'll set the X position all the way off from the left side. We'll make the last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now we have our title coming in, the straight line, and it opens up like that. So now all we have to do is reveal on our main title or subtitle, excuse me. And of course we can always adjust our subtitle. All right, so this looks good. And now all we have to do is duplicate our shape layer, put it on top of our title layer, grab our title layer, and you can go to the track map and you can set it to alpha mat. So now, and now the title will only be revealed on by the line. And we'll go ahead and trim up our text title to be at this point in time. And we'll go ahead and make sure all of our last keyframes are at least easy ease keyframes. And we'll turn on motion blur. Let's go ahead and render what we have. So this is currently what we have at the moment. And it looks pretty cool for a creative title. But I want to go ahead and add a drop shadow and add just a little bit more depth into this, you know, uh, graphic. So we go to our main title, go to effect perspective drop shadow. And the goal here is I want the drop shadow to be on top of our main title. So we might need to change the direction of the shadow to be upward. And we are getting that now. And we can increase the distance just to make sure. Okay. So we need to make sure that our main titles are on top of all of our other layers. And you can see that. Boom. And we increase the softness by a little bit. We increase the opacity. And now we have this depth here on top of our you know, subtitle and we can just copy the drop shadow and we can paste it onto our other portion of our title and we just need to change the direction and now we have this depth inside of our main title and this will create a little bit of a cut in our main title and that's really up to you how you want that to be and I personally I like it of course you can always change these uh, the layer order of the main title and it'll change the direction of the shadow so I think coming downward is not a bad idea so if I render now, this looks a little bit more interesting with this depth. And you can see that the trap shadow is on top of our subtitle here. So that looks pretty cool. So overall, I think it's just a cool way to create a animated title. There's many ways to do it. That's why I want to do these every single week. Little subtle ideas here and there that can go a long way and take your project to the next level for creating awesome titles. Because most of the time with motion graphics, you're usually going to have to do some sort of title work. So I always think typography is one of the most important things you can learn if you're a motion graphics artist. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you found the video helpful. Also subscribe to our channel if you have not already because we post two to three After Effects tutorials every single week. And also hit us up on our social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video and always be creating.